Welcome back, guys. Uh, kind of had a, a rough night last night. And had some stomach pains going on and basically ended up throwing up all night. So I'm feeling a little, a little out of it this morning. Um, but we got some chart. We got some chores to do. The chores don't stop. So we're just gonna get out here, get these chickens fed. Make sure they're okay, and then we will um, probably just go in and take a nap. So, hope you guys are having a better day. I mean, Easter was fine, uh, and then the night hit me, and just was not was not very good. So, oh, still don't feel great. I feel tired, fairly really exhausted. But I gotta get some eggs. I gotta get some chickens fed. I gotta check on these geese. And then I gotta check on the Red Island Reds. So, well, hey, thanks for joining. Thanks for tagging along. Um, I try to be as lively as I can possibly be. going on. I'm going to set the camera down real quick so I can uh, get some guys started here. We'll get the eggs a little bit later. So we're gonna go take care of these chickens real quick. The geese, they look like they're doing just fine. They're about ready to be like out into the main coop area. Um, they're getting pretty big. The geese, not so much. I probably want to keep the geese in here a little bit longer. And, yeah. So they need food. Oh my god, yeah, they're draining the water. So, are you kidding me? Oh, this is not my day. Let's get these guys started because they are, they are acting a fool right now. Man, I'm messing up everything. I don't know what that was. Uh, I just keep my feet out with the chickens. I just keep them in these, these plastic tubs. This is the um, chick starter. And then everything else is the adult birds. I got some more in the car. I just don't feel like dragging it out here today. I do need to refill their water. What I've noticed is geese really, the, the goslings go through more water than the chickens ever have. I mean, I, I could fill that thing up and be all right for a while, but notice here lately that they uh, tear up some water. So let me set the uh, camera down. Collect these eggs. Um, are you sitting on an egg there? Can I see? You got an egg down there? No eggs there. Are you sitting on an egg down here? No eggs down here.
And we gotta look in here for an eggs. Wait, what, what in the world is that? You guys gotta see this. There's two live baby chicks in here. I don't have any eggs in here. I think I think our chickens just had a live birth. We just had two live birth chicks in here. I gotta show you guys this. This is crazy. This is crazy. Look at this. Look at this. I took the eggs out yesterday. And that wouldn't have been enough time from the hatch. I've got two live birth chickens in here. Isn't that the rarest thing ever? And an egg. Ooh. Well, that egg's dirty. Wow. Okay. Well, I need to take these chicks back to the brooder. So, we're going to go grab these chicks. We're going to walk them back inside. Hey, y'all don't belong out here. Look at that. Live birth chicks. I ain't never hear that before. Look at this. There's two of them. Can I get these two? Look at that. Look at that. Two of them. Two of them. Two. I, well, hey, I gotta get these two. Hey, thanks for watching today. Thanks for your support. Um, I can't believe that we witnessed the first live birth of chickens ever in the history of chicken keeping. So I appreciate you being there to appreciate that with me. And uh, I'm going to get out of here, go take a nap, get some rest. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this April Fool's Day with me. And um, until next time, take care and have a great day.